WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. From Indy Streaming News Leader, this is a WRTV update. Good afternoon, I'm Megan Shen, and here's a look at your top stories. Metro Police are investigating a deadly officer involved shooting on the northeast side. Officials say it started as a traffic stop near 34th and Parker Avenue, but then it turned into a foot chase. An officer fired a weapon during the pursuit. The suspect was found with gunshot wounds and was taken to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. No officers were injured in the shooting, and investigators say they found a gun at the scene that does not appear to belong to police. Major news for y'all, you Swifties out there, and we know there are a lot of you. The superstar just announced on Twitter she's bringing her heiress tour to Indianapolis in 2024. She'll perform three shows at Lucas Oil Stadium from November 1st through the 3rd. Taylor Swift's current tour has taken cities across the country by storm. It launched in March, bringing millions of dollars into local economies. Now, the Federal Reserve says her heiress tour is also boosting the U.S. economy. Taylor Swift's last Indianapolis concert was in September 2018, 55. 5,000 people attended that show. Registration for tickets is open now. Just visit taylorswift.com. Kyle, it is Thursday. How's the forecast? Well, it's looking pretty good if you're heading out to the Indiana State Fair here this afternoon and into this evening. Maybe going to grab some dinner out there. We've got temperatures into the middle 80s with partly cloudy skies. That hot dome of air that's been kind of locked out to the south and west, a little bit of it is going to nudge our direction, and that sends highs around 90 degrees the next couple of days. That's also with limited rain chances, more scattered showers and storms in the Sunday forecast, but no need to cancel your plans there. Lots of dry time and cooler heading into next week. All right, Kyle, thank you. For more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.